Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I'm bringing you guys a video that has been in my queue list for so long, it's just been pushed back further and further, mostly because of the new episodes that were confirmed for Star Versus. Now, that that is very exciting, but I felt like we should probably discuss this theory, and it's been on the list, and people have wanted to see it for a while now. And I got so many Discord ideas from people from the Discord, and it's just an amazing, like, a huge amount. So, my thinking is, is that I won't read them word for word, directly line in line. I'll still have them up on the screen so that you can read them, but I will just give a brief description of it so it's not as hard on me and the video doesn't end up to be 30 minutes long. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get right into it. But first, we do have a couple of announcements. Today, the day of this video's release, which is February 15th. That day is the third month anniversary of this channel. So you can like say yay three month anniversary in the comments or something like that because we started this channel on November 15th. So it's been three months and we're actually just about because I pre-record all of these videos. So it's we're almost at 3,000 subscribers. We are at 2,981 at this point in time. So that means we've if we hit 3,000 tomorrow, which I am assuming that we will, that means that we have gained 3,000 subscribers from start to three months in. So, and now that's pretty amazing. We started this channel and it just grew rapidly and now it's slowing down, but it's been slowing down for like the past, I don't know. It, it started to gain speed again, so that's pretty cool too. Enough with that jitter, jatter, patter, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get straight into these comment things. They're not really comments. I, I never know what to say for these. I just always say like comments or like Discord ideas. I don't know. It's They're people ideas, all right? Now this first one is from Adrian. Now he pretty much says that he thinks that Eclipse will help Star and Marco get Glossark's memories back. Now this is very plausible because Eclipsa is probably one of the more powerful, I mean she is one of the most powerful queens other than Star, I don't exactly know on a scale like who's the better one, but Eclipsa and Star are pretty close. And pretty much if anyone was to get Glossark's memories back, I think it would either be Star or Eclipsa, so them both working together would probably be the best. And in my opinion, Eclipsa can influence magic because I think that she's had, she can create dark magic and that's how... I think Toffee was made and all that stuff, you can go watch that video, and I don't know, just go watch it if you want to, it's pretty much Toffee was made from Eclipsa, just, anyway, I mean, I don't think, I don't even think it's that good of a video, <laughs> to be honest, because a lot of my earlier videos aren't even that good, but, yeah, besides the point, this is a great idea, Adrian, and I feel like if anyone's gonna help get Glossary's memories back, it'll be Star or Eclipsa, or both, and Marco, so, yeah, on to the next one, yeah. Now this next one is from Aurora Butterfly. Now they pretty much think that Glossark will get his memories back from reliving the past. Now they mentioned Gravity Falls, which was a great representation of it, even though the end of it kind of went too fast, but I've talked about that many times, you guys don't need to hear me talk about it again. <laughs> but then they also say that maybe the High Commission could do some magic stuff and maybe he could regain his memories that way, and possibly Eclipsa again could help him get his magic back as well. So thanks, Aurora, for your amazing comment. We're going to move on. Now this next one is from Bug Mac. Now they pretty much say that they think that Glossark will get his memories back from Eclipsa. Now there's one thing that they mentioned that really struck my interest. They pretty much said that Eclipsa knew extremely well how to take care of Glossark, which was a really good point because I was like, wait a minute. Oh yeah, she did know, because in those episodes she was like, Oh, here, Glossaric, you can touch his gem and he'll do this or that. And she just knew how to take care of him and Glossaric in the dog form was like, Oh, I know this. So there's a couple things that this gets me excited on. And now I have a couple ideas about it too. So this is actually really good. Thank you, Bug Mac, for making this amazing discovery. This is actually really amazing and I can't believe you said this and it's like, it's provoked me to want to make more Glossark videos. So if you guys want to see some more Glossark videos and like, like and subscribe and comment down in the description below what you want to see and stuff like that. Did, I keep on saying description, not in the description, in the comment section down below. I think I always have said description down below, or yeah, and I just have always meant comment section down below, not description. So uh, if that's why you guys haven't been commenting, then I'm sorry, <laughs> do it in the comment section. <laughs> Now this next one is from Starco Equals Life, Chris the Gamer. 
Now they pretty much say that they think that this will be about Star asking Moon for help, and she'll say, we'll need to repair the book, and the only way to do that, or to, like, get another copy of the book, or repair it, like, is to go back in time, and we know that Omnitraxis, or we think we know that Omnitraxis might be able to do that. So, we might be able to do that, but that might screw with some things later on in the future. So, it's probably one of the less probable ones, but it's still an interesting thought, and it's still a valid point, as for we have no evidence to back it up. So, I mean, these are all just cool ideas and theories and stuff. So, on to the next one. Oh boy, it's Hacker Comfort back again. Now, usually Morpher's the one that makes something big like this, but... Oh, jeez, and I think he still has a fairly decently sized one, so that took a good 5 to 10 minutes to read. I, I wasn't really counting, probably more like 5, but still. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Anyway, they pretty much just talk about, in the beginning, about how they don't think that Glossark will stay in this weird doggish state. Mostly because that would be such a big loss for everyone because the Book of Spells was such an important piece and Glossark is such an important magic wielder and he could have, he could be the whole one that is preventing any evil doing to be doing anything. We have no idea. But pretty much they think that Moon, Eclipse, and Star will go around looking for him in different dimensions and they won't find him anywhere and then Star will find a way or will be called somewhere. Or the dog version of Glossark will help her get to where he actually is. And they brought up that Glossark was the one who helped Marco save Star in Sweet Dreams. Now this actually helps support, I didn't realize this until now, but this actually helps support one of the theories that I just thought of when I read that other comment from Bug Mac. Now this gets me really excited and I'll make a whole other Glossark video about it and it's going to be super amazing and yeah, so on to the next one. Alright guys, funny story. If my microphone sounds a little bit louder than I just adjusted it, but the reason why I'm making this little segment is because my computer just crashed again. Now, I I was able to recover all my audio, unlike when a couple days ago when I lost all my audio on that file, and there was no video for a day because of I, I lost all my <laughs> file stuff. So I was able to recover that file, luckily, but... This leads me to believe that there is something just going on with my computer, and it, and I'm thinking that it's just overheating, because I did some diagnosis on it, and it doesn't seem to have any hardware problems, so I'm just thinking that it's overheating. So if you have any ideas on, like, what I should do, like, if I should just, if I should just get a better fan, it is a custom-made computer that I built, so I can make some adjustments to the parts and things. So if you guys know, like, of a better fan, I don't know if the fan type affects on how much overheating this it does so if you guys have any any uh, suggestions then that would be greatly appreciated also i turned on my fan it wasn't on because it's winter time and i don't usually get my fan on during the winter but i think i will just but i think i will start to keep it on low just so that i don't like experience any crashing or overheating stuff or at least help prevent it because it's really annoying to have it all crash especially when you lose all your file stuff but anyway we're gonna get back straight into the video now this next one is from Kiwi. Now they pretty much think that Glossark won't get his memory backs at all. Or at least any time in the near future. Just because they don't think that they need his memories for now. And they think that it has more to do with the Book of Spells than it does as a physical being. Which is one of my ideas as well. Which I, th I don't know, I don't even know anymore. Like I'd have to do some really deep thinking into it. But, so I don't exactly know what I think right on the spot. <laughs> now this next one is from Latusa. Now they pretty much say that Glossark is not, like Glossark hasn't lost any memories. Pretty much they think that Glossark is perfectly fine, he's just acting like that. Now that was actually what another video that I was going to make is about because I got that idea. I didn't, I don't read any of these, I just like see if they're big or if they have Glossark in it then I just like take a screenshot of it and save it for the video. So I don't read any of these, but pretty much I'm actually thinking that Glossark actually still has his memories and I've had that written down on my video list for a little while now even it's just I haven't gotten around to making it because there wasn't enough evidence but I think I have enough evidence to make a theory on it now this next one is from Morpher bringing it back Morpher <laughs> now pretty much they say that Glossark lost his memories from when he died back when Ludo burned him quotation marks around like died and burned him because he we, we know he's not actually dead and just stuff like that but pretty much people are saying that he got sent to the realm of magic where he lost his memories and now he's back from the direct portal portal way that i think is linked between the sanctuary 
and the Realm of Magic, and I think that's a direct passageway, and that's what I've said in a couple other videos. And we did see that Star was able to regain her memories. Even though Star was only there for a little amount of time, Glossaric can still get his memories back somehow. Now another thing that Morpher said was that there might be something at the Sanctuary that can help Glossaric get his memories back. So there might be like a little device that says like, oh, if Glossaric's memories get deleted, come put him here to restore or something like that, I don't know. But something like that could be found in the Sanctuary to help him get his memories back, which would be pretty interesting. Now this next one is from No. Now pretty much No says that they think that Eclipsa will get his memories back for him, but then he will turn evil because of Eclipsa's magic or something like that, and then he will go around destroying things and all that stuff. And then Star Eclipsa and Moon will go and fight him, and then Moon would start to trust Eclipsa even more. And Star won't want to fight Glossaric, but then Marco will say that she has to, and just because it's important, and because if Glossaric doesn't get defeated, then he will just reign terror. Which, honestly, I don't know if I like this one. I mean, it's a good idea, but honestly, I love Glossaric. He's such a good character. I wouldn't want this to happen to him, but it's a plausible theory, and yeah, I guess it could happen. I just don't want it to. <laughs> now, this next one is from Owen. Now, they think that Star will go to Eclipsa for help. And this seems to be the biggest theme, is that Eclipsa will get Glossaric's memories back, which is a plausible theory because Eclipsa hasn't done too much yet at this point in time. But one thing that Owen did not mention is that Eclipsa might want something in return, such as Young Moon did with Eclipsa back way back when, because they struck a deal. Now this could be a very important part, because this could mean that we start to see corruptness in Star. Or what if we see that Marco gets super desperate for Star's love. And the only thing that Marco can do to win over Star would be to get Glossaric's memories back for Star because maybe Star is longing for Glossaric or something, I don't know. So he strikes a deal with Eclipsa and pretty much he starts to become evil. Now I know that Bonabella is like probably freaking out right now because this might support, this is just an idea that would support Marco's evilness the evil Marco theory, which honestly would be pretty cool. Hopefully it wouldn't happen because I like Marco as a character as well. But, <laughs> that, I mean, that just helps support it. Bonneville, you're welcome. I don't know. I don't, it might totally reject it or something. I don't know. It's just another idea that could happen. But honestly, that's pretty cool. What if we see that Marco striking a deal with Eclipsa? That would be pretty awesome. Now, this next one is from Ray J. And they suggest that possibly... They will take Glossaric back to the Realm of Magic, to where hopefully he can try to regain his memories. And Moon, Eclipsa, and Star will probably go, mostly because Moon doesn't trust Eclipsa, and they need Eclipsa's help. And they might also go in their butterfly forms, so this might suggest that Moon and Eclipsa would learn that Star can control her butterfly form. Even though I think Eclipsa can kind of guess that she can do it already, just because she hasn't heard from Star again about her butterfly form or anything, I don't think so at least, I can't remember. So yeah, that would be pretty interesting. Now this next one is from Star Butterfly. Now they pretty much suggest that Glossark will get his memories back slower, like a child going through stages of growth, you know, like we learn stuff as we go on through life. And as he sees more things, he will learn more things and start to remember more and more things each time he remembers the things. Said a lot of things there, sorry things. <laughs> Just kidding, sorry you guys, all right. I'm, I'm talking about things, all right. But then Star Butterfly also suggests that his brain will be smaller, and so he needs to get the Book of Spells back, so it's kind of like a storage extension device. If you have an Apple device, then you could buy like 50 gigabytes of storage versus your five, your 5 free. So it'd kind of be like buying that extra gigabyte storage just so that you could have more information, like photos and stuff like that. Or in this case, memories. Now this next one is from The Seven Demigods. Now they say that they think that Eclipsa will have something to do with it, like most people have said. But we don't really know too much information about Eclipsa and all that stuff yet, so we can't entirely be too sure. Now they think that whoever wants to get Glossark's memories back, Moon or Star, will throw in the piece of book with the, with Glossark into like the magic sanctuary and then it will somehow like make their memories come back or something. I can't entirely remember, but when Star threw in the book piece, is that when Glossark came back out? Because if that's so, then it's kind of like a give-get relationship. So maybe she has to put something in, and then it'll get Glossary's memories back or something. I, I don't know, it's just an idea. But then they say that if that doesn't work out, then Star will probably have to dip down. 
or moon and star or someone important to Glossrick will have to be in like a very bad situation to where he just gets his memory back and to help them. Now this next one is from Twin Boy 1995 and they think that Glossrick will regain his memory after they find all the pieces of the spell book. They also say that Glossrick might get his memories back from like the Magic High Commission knowing something. They also say that Eclipsa probably has the answer, but nobody other than Star will want her to help. Which is an interesting theory, going back to the Eclipse is gonna have something to do with it idea. <laughs> now one other idea that I got from reading this is that what if Moon already knows a way to get Glossrick's memories back? Because he obviously has known that this could, that this is something that will happen eventually and that if they ever need it then there should be a way to get his memories back or at least be able to access them so if there is a way then moon is hiding it right so does that mean that moon is evil more on that theory in a little bit got a video on that i was i hinted to that a couple of videos ago but yeah so moving on to the last one now this last one is from wild baseball and they say that Glossaric is the most powerful being in the universe, so that there's no way he would be left as a dumb pet. Now they also think that the Book of Spells has something to do with the memories, but they say that the Book of Spells is lost, so that it probably will not be recovered in that way. So they say that one possibility is that Star will go to Eclipsa and that they will make a deal so she can learn a spell to get his memories back. Now they also say that they don't exactly know what the deal would be on, Maybe a deal for her freedom or something? We don't exactly know. We don't know. And then they, there might be a deal to give her unlimited Snickers bar. <laughs> but in all seriousness, they think that Eclipsa will make a deal with Star. But what Eclipsa wants, however, is a mystery. So thank you, Wild Baseball, for your amazing ideas. It gives me some ideas. I'm not going to reveal them yet, though. But that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy this super entirely long video, even with me not reading them off, just giving you guys like a brief summary on it, it still ended up to be super duper long. But, you know, maybe you guys really enjoy longer videos, so if you guys do, you can comment down the, in the comment section down below. Not the description, the comment section. And you can leave a like and subscribe and do all that stuff for more content. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. We have a Discord, Instagram, all the social media stuff. You can go join that. It's all that that's in the description below, guys. All right, if you want to go comment something down in the description, you won't be able to, but you can go view what's in the description if you're interested. But that's going to wrap up today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or maybe Tasman will do tomorrow's video. I'm not sure. Goodbye. I might have some self-control issues. <laughs>